Hi students, today we are going to start with motion topic from CBSE Physics. First of all, we'll relate with two terms. One is an object being at rest. The other one is an object which is moving or which is having a motion. An object at rest, for example, let me consider a tree. And a person is standing beside the tree. See, with respect to the tree, this person is at rest. Are madri? With respect to the person, this tree is at rest. Okay, yeah. So, now let me imagine a car which is passing by that particular way. Okay, yeah. So, in the car, as it is moving, we can say that with respect to the tree, this car is at motion. Now, let me imagine a person sitting inside the car who is driving. Okay, yeah. So, this driver of the car, our pathina, he is at rest with respect to the car. Correct, then? With respect to the car, pathona, he is at rest. But with respect to the tree, he is at motion. You know, that person is sitting inside the car. So, the car moves, the person also moves along with it. So, with respect to the car, in the driver, pathina, he is at rest. Anna, with respect to the tree, pathona, the driver is in motion. So, this term. Rest and motion both are relative terms. Even this tree is in motion when you relate it with respect to the sun's motion. Sun na vandha fixed ani eduthik ten sonna. Tree ebdi marka. Tree is going to be moving. Why? Because tree is stationary or at rest with respect to the earth. In a tree enga On top of the earth we have the tree. Leya. Earth tree, it is at rest with respect to the earth. Anna, earth is at motion with respect to the sun. So, with respect to the sun, so no, no, tree is at motion. So, in the rest of motion, these two terms are what? They are relative terms. One with respect to the other, we are going to relate it here. So, the definition of rest and motion, we have to see. The next idea from your textbook is, what are all the types of motions that we might perceive? First thing is straight line motion. Second one, circular motion. Third one, rotatory motion. And fourth one, vibrational motion. So these are the various types of motion that we can see in our day-to-day -day life. Idhila, specific in the entire unit, we are bothered about the straight line motion. Straight line motion is otherwise called as linear motion. So, when an object moves in a straight line, what are all the relevant facts that we will relate with this? Or object move under the straight line, it will have a speed, it will have a velocity, it will cover some specific distance. So, the car is going to get accelerated, it will have some acceleration, like that. All these other technical words which are relevant to linear motion in the particular motion unit, it is 9 standard textbook, you will be learning. Here we discuss a few definitions relevant to rest and motion. So rest, a body is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surroundings. See, it is the position with respect to surroundings. If it does not change, then it is said to be at rest. The position with respect to the surroundings or with some other stationary object, if in case the position changes, then the object is said to be in motion. There is another question, can an object be at rest? as well as in motion at the same time. Yes, either go to example, it is like a tree and a car and a driver in the car. Same case here, a person traveling by bus. Let us imagine the bus driver. With respect to any other co-passenger, that driver will be at rest. But with respect to any other object which is on the roadside, the bus driver is in motion in case of a running bus. So, for this question, yes will be the answer. What are the various types of motions? Namange Pato. Straight line motion, curved motion or circular motion, rotational motion, vibrational motion. Vibration is otherwise called as oscillatory motion. These are the various types of motions.